and gentlemen, boys and girls, fathers and mothers, good morning. Warm greetings to you all. Welcome to the Stage on Fire Talent Hunt show on Voice on Delta TV, The People's Pride. This program is from the office of the Senior Special Assistant to the Governor on Talent Development in collaboration with Delta Broadcasting Service, DBS Asaba. It is a known fact that Delta State is blessed with many natural and human resources. Our people are industrials and very talented, and that is why this program is being organized to develop the talent of Deltans. My name is Blessing Usiagwada, and I'm the host for this show. On behalf of the production crew, I appreciate you for your viewership today. We'll go on a short break, and when we come back, we'll set the stage on fire. Please stay tuned. Welcome back. This is a Stage on Fire Talent Hunt Show on Delta TV, The People's Pride, and it comes up every Saturday at 10.30 a.m. My name is Blessing Usiagwada. Without further ado, let us welcome our special guest for today. He is the Senior Special Assistant to the Governor on Talent Development, Ambassador Ugago Ogene Ogene Yole. Good morning. Good morning. And, and welcome. Good. Thank you very much. Stage on Fire Talent Hunt Show. Yeah, thank He's you. He's not just a guest today. Uh, he is going to be the judge for today and as well my co-host. Yeah, also, you. I have my uh, contestants for today. We have our contestants for today. We have uh, Owe Manu from Ole. Yeah. Welcome to the show. And we have Peace Iyebe from Delta State University, Thank Abraka. Welcome to the show. Now over to you, Com Ambassador. Okay, thank you very much. We have two very special guests here who are going to be competing. In, in short, it's going to be a face-off of one of the best in Delta State when we talk about uh, upcoming acts in spoken word. And uh, of course, they are going to be facing off in three phases, and we are going to be looking at them. I and my colleague, Blessing, are going to be the judge from this end. And of course, we are airing it also on uh, TV Live. You can log on to uh, Voice of Delta TV Facebook page, or you can log on to our page, Stage on Fire, TV talent show to follow up. Your vote counts, the votes of the viewers on the Facebook channel constitute 30% for their winning. So please vote for your choice candidate. Thank you. Okay, uh, like Ambassador Yule has said, this edition is going to, we're going to focus on spoken words championship. So today is going to be specially focused on the spoken words 
championship. And uh, we're going to have three face-offs. There are going to be three segments on this show, and we'll be judging our contestants, um, uh, the message, the eloquence and diction, coherence and composition and coordination. So these are what we're going to be judging them with, and we will have three face-offs for each of the contestants. So we'll start now with our first contestant, Owe Manu from Ole, and he's going to be talking on the first segment. The first segment is going to be on the effect of drug addiction to the addict and the society. That is going to be our first face off. So over to you, Owe Manu. Thank you very much. Okay. Here I stand behind these prison walls, reminiscing on the good days. I too was once a dreamer, with visions to transform myself and my society. But here I am like a pendulum, swinging between what I am and what I would have become. This consistent intake of trauma doll has given me enough trauma and made me dull. I can no longer comprehend. I can no longer code in information because of this coding. I've become too unholy because of this consistent take of molly. I was born innocent into an innocent, incoherent, insolent world. My mama was glad, so happy she was. She raised me up, smiled at me and said, Dear child, you are heaven sent. You will be a saint. So she became hell bent, making sure that I have no dent. All the time she spent building my ascent, teaching me all she's learned. So with it, I could build my own tent, overcome the length of the length. But damn, it still feels like my life is for rent. You need to have seen me, sprouting from that broken edge, though beautifully blooming, under a single parent's grooming. I was growing, glowing, showing the world that I wanted so much to become a man, though I was a child. Come my hand with it tobacco. Will a child not become a man? My mama, like your mama, prayed so I can escape being the prey that be preyed upon by a predating predator. So beyond the magnifying bones of daily hunger, I grew. I grew because mama prepared meals from monthly loans. Dusk to dawn, she worked for her poor home. She was the man. She was my man. She watched me become a man as I survived the malaria, the harsh conditions of Nigeria, the struggles of the Niger Delta area. I became a first class material because I be worried boy, confound our fear. I survived the weakest strokes from primary school teachers, followed the instructions of my son's school preachers. Then I never popped drugs, no dope, no weed, no shisha. And that was how I escaped the temptations of a teenager. But I felt still that my life was for rent. So I met spoken words, played with words, got them pregnant, and in no time I impregnated dictions, delivered meanings and meanings with interesting fictions that make you want to listen and listen. My rhyme is beautiful, punchlines powerful. My romance with spoken word grew so ripe that I was called whiskey, but do skip because I sounded so skilled. Always high on stage without whiskey, but too much of the praises was too risky. For that got my ego swelling, my poetry selling, my pride set in, cause only my name the yelling. Instead of me to expand my boundaries, I became too quick to accept my praises. Package them off into briefcases, send them off to different places. But they came back home with weeping faces. The man, you're too weak for the marketplaces and palaces. For if words are truly water, yours are not living water. So I looked at my spoken words and told them, My mind and my pen is the biggest altar. My lines cannot be altered. And I asked, Why can't I sell? And they looked at me and told me, Why ask why like John Massey when you can think big like Ben Carson? So my relationship with spoken word got sour. And then I got sunk. I got sunk in an ocean of drugs. Started popping drugs every now and then. Every spark led to a place called Astray. And I followed drugs on. And drugs was logically wise. He told me, be sharp, young sharp. Step on who needs to be stepped on to get what needs to be gotten. Lay all your eggs in one basket and don't be scared. I'll help you watch over them. And of course, when I did drugs, I got involved in crime and crime paid. Thank you so much, Owe, Manu. I would have to cut you there because we have five minutes each for each of the contestants. Thank you so much. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Please have your seat. Okay, now next to the, con to the next contestants, we have Peace Iyebe. And Peace Iyebe will be speaking on the same topic, the first topic, on the effect of drug addiction to the addict and the society. Our next contestant, Peace Iyebe. I have been wasted in pain 
means Greek. I have stayed. I called you my short plug, but all you've ever done was plug my spine to cloud nine, dragging my back towards destruction's line. You shattered the yoke of sanity. Now I walk the streets of insanity, seeking clarity, but all I find is obscurity. In my state of highness, anxiety slept with me. Oh, have I mentioned that my shadows are scared of me? The mirror is terrific. I can literally behold my veins and bones popping out through my skin. See, see what addiction has done to me. The pills I once yearned for now haunt my breath. It has embraced the vein upon my chest. Now, now my life is a mess. My future at stake. Ever since I started this journey with you, all I see is pains, troubles, and depression. My parents howling with pains, spending all their life earnings just to keep me sane. You did just good. You made me think I would heal. You made me think I would relax, I would have fun. But under your influence, I harmed my best friend. I lost my job. When I had no more money, you made me, you made me steal, you made me lie, you made me cheat, and you made me fool everyone. You did just good. Now, now I am a naive personal non grata, a societal mess, a nuisance. Yes, that's what I've become. You see, drug addiction is a nightmare. It is a nightmare. Marrying dreams and living life stripped bare. Tearing families apart and leaving hearts heavy with dread, even in the absence of dreadlocks. Now, now my dreams are locked in a loop of illusion. Now one could think that Lulu is my present situation. But sadly, this was just my once upon a time imagination. Drug addiction. Thank you. Wow, beautiful. Thank you so much, PC Ebe. That was wonderful. So over to you, Ambassador. You're there for... Oh, that was beautiful. I didn't expect this. But you could see the, the brand of talents we have in Delta State, and I'm really impressed with their presentation. Of course, it's good. as a judge, it's, they are making it very difficult for me. They are making my job very difficult because I, I can say that both of them are firebrand. Mm -hmm. But of course, as the competition proceeds, we are going to see who sets the stage on, on fire. fire. Indeed, I, I must commend Owe Manu and Peace Iyebe. That was a beautiful presentation Thank for you. the first face of Owe Manu, you did excellently well. Peace Iyebe, you were you. calm, cool, and wonderful. Thank you so much. This is just the first face-off. We have uh, two more face-offs to go. We'll go on the short break, and when we come back, it will be the second face-off on Stage on Fire Talent Hunt Show. Please stay tuned. It is my pleasure to be in your midst for the commissioning of Okolo. And where we road is to the Isoko Salo government area of the desert state. Sharing now a baba for this Isoko. I don't really want access way out and into the community, but that we have several ones. It's one better than before. We can enjoy it now. I therefore enjoy all deltas to remain peaceful and continue to support this administration in our effort to deliver on the promises of our more agenda. Welcome back. This is Stage on Fire Talent Hunt Show on Delta Television, that people's pride. And we have uh, Ambassador Yole on stage as a judge and my co-host. And we also have two contestants this 
Saturday morning, we have Owe Manu from Ole, and we have Peace Iyebe from Delta State University, Abraka. We've had the first face off. Now it is time for the second face off. The second face off will be on the topic unity in diversity amongst tribes in Delta. And Peace Iyebe will be going first this time around. Over to you, Peace Iyebe. O oh, Delta State, thy big heart, built on a nation's pride. Our lands and shores are bound with love, sustained by leaders wise and just. So let us be united, a people strong and free. Let's rejoice for the dawn of a new day with big heart marching feet. To read. This is Delta State, our slogan, the finger of God, where unity is like a pot of ukudu served hot with an enticing aroma to feed 25 siblings in just one plate. Each spoonful tastes of love, affection, and warmth a flavor of tradition, a cherished connection. In the place, in the feast of love, unity awakes. This is Delta State. From the banks of the Ethiop River, where reading takes flight, to the beats of the Ogume, resounding day and night. This is Delta State. Ishakiri de Demokia, proud and steadfast in your strides, with ancient roots, guardians of the river banks, resilient in your pursuits. Ah, Izo, custodians of the Niger's might, your tales of bravery pierces the darkest night. Isoko Wado, your vibrant spirit aflames, your traditions and wisdom forever proclaims. Urobo Wado, nurturing the land where your heritage resides, preserving traditions and your culture. Delta Ibo Kwenu, a fusion of culture, a blend of beauty. That is blessed. Well, in this mosaic of tongues, dances, and drama, Delta State's heart beats heart, have, uh, Delta State's heart beats unity redeemed. Now let us rise above all strife and embrace one state. This is Delta State. As they say, we know they ever carry last. Our unity not go ever cast. Because now people will stay together, go forever last. If I, they lie, if it check my hero's past. Thank you. Thank you so much. Peace, Yebe. I must say you are very time conscious. And like I said at the beginning of the, the show, each contestant has five minutes only, five minutes only for the three face off. And you were really time conscious. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You. Next is... Owe Manu, still on the same topic, unity in diversity amongst tribes in Delta States. Hello Delta. Let us keep in mind that no matter how different we are, because we are from different tribes, that we all come from a place. A place where our mothers go to battle every day with a baby strapped across their backs. Another clinging to her breast, two following behind, and it is shite care at its finest. Alone, she carries her burdens, a bunch of firewood, sometimes a bag stacked filled with cassava, other times a pan of concrete, same concrete that has cemented her soul. Because her one-time lover with whom these kids came into this world is in the arms of another woman, his new victim, or far away from home in distant lands, only to be returned home in a coffin, if not already gone in a coffin. See, we come from a place, a place of royal historical records, our exodus from the Benin Empire was like that of the Israelites. We came with a vision guided by satellites seeking for homely territories, searching for a land fertile enough for us to plant our dreams. 
and clutching all our best intentions, we found this place and called it our home. For if Delta was a mother, Isoko, Urobo, Ijo, Ishakiri would be brothers. For these brothers never bother about their brothers when they gather to tell their saga. For we have the same pain, same agony, same aspiration. See, we come from a place, a place of rich cultural heritage. Our people blessed with humane norms, practices and festivals. When we model our Ivie, our Obru, our Dudu, our rappers, and our women tidy and sky high, gaily bold and beautiful, we stand out amongst others, for we redefine fashion. No meal majors up to our Owo, Osi, Upiko and Amedi. At the snap of our fingers, we control the atmosphere and our skins became bulletproofs. We are once kings and queens before religion, civilization, innovation wiped away our tradition. See, we all come from a place. A place where the oil is both a blessing and a curse. For the statistics of what is given and what is taken does not tally. The whole system is a cutthroat, a rip-off. We are cut off, shut off, total shut off. What we deserve, they selfishly keep in their reserve. Every day, barrels of oil flows from here in exchange for a loaf of bread. A loaf which the real owners do not even get a communion size from. Good living and happiness is far from the people. Good living and happiness is so scarce even in the marketplaces. So every day for our young boys is a riot. For our old men is a jackpot. Why young boys keep running for their lives and old men keep running for elections. Nothing grows here. See, we all come from a place. A place where politics makes bed and roof. A place where political positions have become a bloodline heritage. For we are the architect of the system. A governor cannot be a governor without our consent. We know how to meet the young. We know how to bleach the old. We know how to win votes with handshakes and without mistakes. We remake the mind of our openness to battle our will. See, we all come from a place. A place where we make love and romance entertainment. For our stars, our offsprings are stars and superstars. We have produced the best of the best in the marketplaces. Our voice, our dance step is on every street corner, on every global market, making waves, making vibes. The likes of Bob Yuboma, Evie Edina Awoli, Samuel Poso, and many more others. See, we all come from a place. A place where electricity remains a city we will never see till we buy our own generators. We all come from a place. A place where education offers us nothing but certificates that offers us nothing but empty plates. So our young boys prefer Ghana to universities. Laptops to skills. For the achievement, after half a ticket is too huge. Too huge for one not to go astray. See, we all come from a place. A place where our struggles are the same. Our goals are the same. Our aspirations are the same. So let's keep in mind that we are one, irrespective of the tribes that we come from. One Delta. Thank you. One Delta. Abbas Odeyole, the studio is really cold, but I'm sweating. <laughs> Even me, it I'm is, sweating. The stage is indeed the stage on, fire. Is on fire. I hope this fire does not consume us all. <laughs> oh, yeah, it will. It definitely will, because we'll keep it in check. Yeah. Okay, your take, Abbas Odeyole. I think, I think the reason I'm sweating is that I'm, I'm caught in between. Mm. I don't even know what to say, but of course, Let's see. Let's let let's get let them. No, you have to say something about his performance as well as PCA-based performance. You see, uh, about the style, I I realized that I was very careful with scoring because I realized that both of them have different style. Mm. One comes with this swift uh, flow, and mm. the other one comes with calm demeanor. Mm. And of course, you must be careful not to let sentiment carry you away. But for, of course. They have very good messages. Their message was on uh, to the point, mm -hmm. and of course, they delivered it very well. Yes. But the other areas we, we will be checking to is the eloquence, the flow, the undulations, and all that, and the composure with which they do it. Of course, they are both doing a good job. Mm -hmm. It's going to be if it is possible for me to say both of them are winners. I would, but of course, let keep it keep this call uh, going because from my analysis in the first part, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it was. Almost one way. In the other part, it's like it's countering the, the, the what, yes. what I, in, in I the, had. The, yes. the first face off and the second face off, they're totally different. Yes, the second face off is it, hotter. Yes. Indeed, it is hotter, and it's going to be difficult for me to really judge this, yes. but we will do our best to make yeah. sure that we are as objective and, and uh, objective as possible. Do not forget that you can follow this talent on fire, the Stage on Fire Talent Hunt Show live on Facebook on Talent on Fire, Stay on Fire, Talent Hunt Show, or Delta TV, The People's Pride. So do want to follow us live and get this show going. All right, we'll go on, on another musical short break, and when we come back, it will be the last face-off for the contestants. Please stay tuned.
fatherland. Nigeria will get there someday if we put our hands together in unity to push this country forward because Nigerian holds great promise. Welcome back to Stage and Fire Talent Hunt Show. This is that television, the people's pride, and I am blessing Usiagwada, your host. Welcome back to the show. Remember that you can follow this live on Facebook on Stage and Fire Talent Hunt Show. And you also have to vote on Facebook because there's a percentage for uh, the voting on Facebook. So go to Facebook, live on Stage and Fire, Talent Home Show, or Delta TV, The People's Pride on Facebook, and cast your vote there. Yes, you have a say in this competition. This is a spoken words edition of Stage on Fire, Talent Home Show. So go to our pages on Facebook, Stage on Fire, Talent Home Show, and cast your vote there. I would advise that you listen intently so that you can pick your winner for today. Ambassador Yule, over to you. Okay, thank you very much. It has been indeed an intense exercise at the competition that, peop that is, is setting the stage on fire. Of course, you have had, had them speak about uh, drug, the effects of drug addiction and the unity and diversity among tribes in the outer state. This is the time to hear their message. This is the last uh, stage, the last phase of their competition, and they are going to be delivering their personal message, their personal work uh, to us. So listen and be blessed by this fire. <laughs> Indeed, be blessed. And <laughs> also know that you have five minutes each. So please, it's your personal message. So make sure it's done within five minutes. Thank you. Uh, who's going first now? Pete, uh, no, oh wait, Manu, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I do this for my people. She cannot cry for night. If you cry for night, we'll kill him shop. When the owner come, we'll go tell her and say, she cannot cry for night. Literally, we kill the ones shaking. But that was how we learned the first language of the streets as we hopped in the streets of our communities committing things. The sun took the light from our skins, making us darker than mama's pot. We were so slim out of stress, we were never around like mama's, papa's pot belly. My fingers, my memories, I lost count of how many times we went to bed on an empty stomach. So Kingari became a normal thing. Things were so hard, so hard that sometimes, you know, they even they see food they eat for dream. They say hard work brings success. They say hard work brings success, but I saw my mom working hard throughout those years only to return on Monday with a take-home that cannot even take her home. She was so honest. She has taught us to be honest. But sadly, 
Honesty does not pay the bills. My father was a pensioner, but his pay was not shown up. So he had no silver, no gold to beg, but he was a beer holder, always swimming in his debt because he never stopped playing pool. He could take anything. He could even bet Niger would never change, and that is a sure bet because your old man is so slow about the change. He's not in a hurry, even when you say boo, hurry. He passed us on to the hands of another joker, a very funny man. This time around, not the fat Ibu. This one is a thin Ibu. Our primary schools have always been renovated in pictures by chairmen that never give shares. Our school libraries have always been empty shelves. Our school laboratory had only one instrument, and that is the thermometer in a diagram hanging on the wall. So tell me, how do we compete with the rest of the world? Only our higher institutions competed with thunder when it came to strike. See, as I speak to you, your old man still sits on the border unbothered, making the price of things rise, the standard of living fall, and your preacher is still preaching tight with his tight tie because he too must make a living. The hustle is real like black and white. You will never know that the street is street until the street put you for street. But in this journey, keep in mind that we must keep fighting. Keep in mind that this life is a stage and we are all actors in this struggle. And as you all know, actors know they die for fame. So it means if we keep pushing, we will win. Let us keep in mind that some things are not the way they seem. Even butterflies have not a light butter. Let us keep in mind that in this journey, one day boys go blue. One day girls go blue. One day the hustle go pay. And in this journey, when you meet a difficult wall, when a difficult time comes, do not cry. Always remember the first language of the street. She cannot cry for night. If you cry for night, you go kill and shop. When the order comes, we go tell her, say she cannot cry for night. Peace. Coincidentally, he's putting on white and black. He said the hustle is not white, white and, and black. White and black, yes. And he's putting on white and black. <laughs> Thank you so much, Owe Emmanuel. But, but let, it, let us make it clear that um, it has to be hard work. It has to be legit work that yeah. will pay. Yes, you have to be doing something that is legitimate before the hustle will pay. Your comments. Okay, I think this state is really on fire. It I'm burning up. I am just looking forward to the next next speaker. So let's see how he's going to, she's going to sustain the fire. Over to your PC, Abe. Who are you? This is a question everybody has been asked at one point or another. What's your pedigree, they say? Fame is not for free. It differentiates the people that take tea from the people that so guy. Last I checked, we are all humans. You can sit there, they say. It's reserved. It's well-deserved. A name has been carved. It's for a celebrity, not for a non-entity who's got no ability to, to, who's got no ability for financial stability. Now, they say, bounce, you liability. Who are you? When it's time for admissions, they say, who are you? I say, sir, that question is unnecessary. I deserve this admission. I ace these examinations. They say, no. Who are you? Do you know the vice chancellor? Are you friends with the governor? Do you dine with the senator? Is your father the registrar? Do you have a counselor's number? Who are you? Wait. Do I need to be like Jagabang before I listen to a live band? Or do I need to wear Versace just to eat sushi? Do I need to be guided by cops to visit Transcorp? Or do I need to wear gold trinkets just to take pictures on the red carpet? Why can't they just see me for me? Why does my, my worth have to be judged by the money in my bank account, or the crops in my farm, or the words from my mouth, or the degrees that I have, or my selfies on Facebook, which most times aren't even real. When I talk, they say, who's talking? When I write, they say, who's writing? <laughs> even when I laugh, they say, who's laughing? They don't want to hear all I have to say, all they want to know now, hustle don't pay. See, eh? whether you take tea or I take pop, at the end of the day, not the same hotel town. See, one commits a crime, his name rings a bell, they say, bail him. Another commits a crime, he's not on the Hall of Fame, they say, jail him. When I speak, they say, who the hell do you think you are? I'll tell you who the heaven I think I am. I am the beginning of a new era. I'm a skyscraper of peace and a trailblazer of unity. I'm a million microchips, I'm definitely for keeps. I'm young, I'm vibrant, I'm bold, I'm intelligent. I'm from a deity of divinity. I'm like the current of an ocean, you can't stop my flow. I'm the end of injustice and the beginning of a new era. 
I am poetic justice. One day, surely, I go blow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, peace. <laughs> that was wonderful. That was wonderful. Ambassador Yule, you're, you're, so, you're so calm. <laughs> I'm so uh, gross because, you know, uh, these people have just made it very difficult for me, you know. At the second stage, I felt, okay, we are getting close to knowing the Who winner. The winner is. But at this last stage, it's a twist. And I'm just, I don't know, probably my numbers are going to tally. Mm. But I just hope it doesn't. Honestly, they are good. Yeah. Honestly, peace took me by surprise because this last face off, she was more, you know, she, she came with this fire. She, she, she had this, this fire in her and I could feel it from how she was speaking. So like you rightly said, during the second face off, we we're about to say, okay, this person is going to be the winner. But yeah. now it may be a bit difficult, but yeah. uh, we have to just choose one winner. We have to. Remember to cast your votes live on Facebook. Stage on Fire Talent Hunt Show or Delta TV, The People's Pride. We'll go on a short break, a quick short break, and when we come back, it'll be time for us to make our calculations and then discover who the winner is. Please stay tuned.
my pleasure to be in your midst for the commissioning of Okolo. And when we road is to it is to go to the local government area of the other state. Now I'm Baba for this is so cool. I don't want access way out and into the community, but that we have several ones. It's one better than before. We can enjoy it now. I therefore enjoy all data to remain peaceful and continue to support this administration in our effort to deliver on the promises of our more agenda. Welcome back to the Stage on Fire Talent Hunt Show. It is at this point we'll be wrapping up and it's time for us to declare our winner. Ambassador Yule, please. Okay, so on my list, I don't know, if you put together 21.5 for Manu in the first one, okay. and 23, you have 50, in the second one, you have 50. 4.5 mm -hmm. and then you come back to give him 20 in the end of the day you have 65 then for for her you had 22.5 plus 19.5 you already have you already have 43 and of course if you add the one she had last 21.5 you have a total of 63.5. So what I got, the total for Manu, I'm even surprised how it tallied the, how the turnout came, came out because I was scared that Peace was going to take the, I was, I was so sure that he was going to take the lead, but, but the calculation mm. we did, Manu came out with a total of 65 mm. out of 70, while uh, Peace came out with a total of 63.5. So it's just a difference of 1.5. I think that was very intense. It was intense. Yeah. So and for you... I, I gave you my score already. So please, give, give it to me again. Please. I said Mano had 78, uh, Peace had 77. Okay, 78, 77. Mm -hmm. So who are going to just... Because you overshot, I don't mm -hmm. know how you... It's supposed to be over 70. I, I, I don't know how that So we're going to just remove 10 from each. So you have 68 and 67. Yes. Right? Yes. So let's see. Mano has 68. Yes. And she has had, had 67. Seven. Six, no, right? 62. 62. Okay, 62. Yes. Okay, so that means if you take the average by both of our, our, our votes, Mano slightly won. Yes. And, and uh, this came very close to the second. So from let's, let's look at what we got from the Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, votes. We have been able to put it together. Our technical team have looked at it and put it together. So let's see what they have. So Peace had 61, 65 people voting okay. for Peace and Ima had 11 people. How come Ima did not have that uh, fan? So for the sake of this, I think if we judge by the social media vote, what is the percentage? We, it's supposed to be 30, over 30. What is the percentage of the social media vote? Ah, but let me get back to you. With what we experience here, probably peace had more people on our side and had more people voting. Mm -hmm. Would you think that we should judge them by this, this figure we have or we should probably, because it's the first time and they, they may not We are the it. judges and this is why it is important that uh, your followers or your fans follow our Facebook page. So I think for this edition, uh, the judges will be the ones to declare the